Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Bernie Winter of Coronation Street starts a confrontation with Denny, a newbie. Next week, Bernie Winter of Coronation Street will square off against Denny, a newbie, when she accuses him of stealing his wheelchair from Paul Foreman, her son. This week, Denny, Paul and Gemma Winter's estranged father shows up on the cobbles after hearing Paul do his radio interview on Amy Barlow's brand new student radio program. Bernie tells Denny that Paul has already passed away when he approaches her on the street and laments that he only learned about Paul's illness from a radio show. Denny promptly refutes Bernie's story by following her up to Paul and Billy Mayhew's apartment. Bernie has serious doubts, but Paul chooses to give his dad a chance and extends an invitation to Denny to spend some time with him. However, Bernie and her former will soon clash once more. Scenes from the Monday, May 6th episode will see Bernie confronting Denny outside Paul and Billy's apartment and being taken aback by his discovery that he is carrying Paul's wheelchair down the street. Bernie doesn't trust a word Denny says, threatening to contact the police, even though he says he's taking the chair for a service. Has Denny's true nature already been revealed? The character of Paul, played by actor Peter Ash, has cautioned that Denny was definitely not a nice person at all in the past and hasn't changed that much in his opinion. Paul seems to be eager to give his dad another chance despite the family's reservations about Denny's abrupt presence, and Ash has revealed that Paul's diagnosis of motor neuron disease is significantly influencing his attitude. I think had it been a couple years ago, without the MND diagnosis, he probably would have told his dad to do one, basically, he stated. The actor went on to say, I think Paul has a different outlook now because obviously he's dying, and I think he's just got a different way of looking at that. With assistance from the MND Association, which promotes better access to care, research, and advocacy for those with motor neuron disease, Coronation Street has been developing Paul's plot. The MND Connect Hotline 0808-802-6262, run by the charity, is open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. There are no fees for calls. Times to discuss in Coronation Street, Maria Connor and Gary Windass make a significant choice regarding Liam. During a recent fight over the teen, Maria Connor and Gary Windass made a critical choice on Liam in Coronation Street, and Maria's remarks hurt Gary. Following his harassment at school by school thug Mason and his friends, the teenager has had a rough few months. Mason confronted Liam, played by Charlie Renschel, with a knife, and things got so terrible that he thought about ending his own life. Fortunately, his mother Maria caught on to what was happening in time, and she has been homeschooling her kid ever since. Despite the thug's attempts to frighten Liam and Dylan Wilson into not testifying against him in court, Mason was sent to a young offender's institution in recent weeks after they bravely provided evidence against him. However, Liam's experience has left a lasting impression, and in future episodes on Coronation Street, Gary and Maria talk about private therapy for Liam. Gary offers selling the factory to raise the money, but Liam, who is quite disturbed, listens in. Later in the week, Liam searches for benzodiazepines on Google to help him cope with his anxiety. Liam is happy to have Joseph join him for the judo class. The family is currently experiencing more drama than this. Earlier this month, Gary was discovered to be in a compromising circumstance. After becoming concerned for Liam, Maria, Samia Longchambin, put a covert concealed camera in her house. The single mother had an argument with Gary after Liam said he was ready to return to school, but she would not listen to him. She hinted that Gary had no say in the situation because Liam is not his biological son, which strained relations. Later, after learning that his partner Damon Hay had received a six-year prison sentence, Gary found himself consoling his former girlfriend Sarah Platt. The two had no idea that Maria was using her phone's camera to watch them, and an inebriated pass had been made. The reason behind Bernie's continued marriage to her beautiful and well-known wife after 28 years, according to Corey's star. Jane Hasselgrove from Corey believes that her well-known spouse is the reason behind their nearly 30-year marriage. The actress, who debuted in 2019, quickly gained notoriety for her role as Bernie Winter in the ITV drama opera. As Gemma and Paul's mother, she has swiftly established herself as a fan favorite. It's also reasonable to state that Bernie has penned a good number of significant plots. 
Bernie's tenure in Weatherfield has not been without drama, ranging from Paul's fight with motor neuron disease to a recent term in jail. Away from the soap opera, though, Jane is devoted to her devoted spouse Isabel Middleton. After getting married in 2015, the couple has been together for more than 28 years. The blonde beauty talked about her romance with the actress on Lorraine in 2019. She said, she's amazing, a truly lovely woman. I have a serious obsession. The question of whether the two had ever collaborated on TV was posed by host Lorraine Kelly. Jane answered, no, we haven't, which is the reason I believe we are still together. We moved back to Manchester last year, before, Corey, she continued. I'm glad that, for a variety of reasons, it was time to return to the North. Isabel, Jane's spouse, is also accustomed to making appearances on television. Over the years, Isabel has portrayed three different personas in the long-running ITV soap opera Emmerdale. In 2014, she played Dr. Lane, and in the 2018 trial of Simon McManus, she played a barrister. She also portrayed Jean Rawson on the renowned Dale's serial opera set in 2020. However, Isabel has starred in other shows besides Emmerdale. She portrayed Sadie Banks in BBC's EastEnders back in 2002. Isabel also tried her hand in blockbusters, making an appearance in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, 2009. A few years prior, Isabel was present at the British Soap Awards to celebrate her wife's accomplishment. Very proud that my sublimely talented and hilarious wife has been nominated for Best Comedy Performance at the Hashtag Soap Awards 2022, she posted on X, which was then known as Twitter. We are unable to vote, but I would if I could. Time and time again. Bernie Winters, Corey, Jane Hasselgrove, and Funny Bones. Fans of Coronation Street figure out what transpired with Lauren Bolton following Bobby's shenanigans. Fans of Coronation Street have come up with a novel notion regarding Lauren Bolton's true circumstances following Carla Connor's heartache due to Bobby Crawford's shenanigans. As viewers of the ITV soap opera are aware, Bobby was the one who first noticed Lauren had vanished in February. Roy Cropper fired the adolescent from Roy's roles, and she hasn't been seen around Weatherfield in a few weeks. Afterwards, the proprietor of the cafe paid her a visit and gave her some more money to help her get by. However, the teenager's home was visited shortly after by an unknown visitor that viewers were never able to see, and she hasn't been seen in Weatherfield since. Meanwhile, Bobby, Carla Connor's nephew, discovered Carla Connor's apartment unlocked and strangely empty that he filed a missing person's complaint with the police, but the case truly started when blood was discovered in the precinct apartment where she was living. After it was determined that the blood belonged to Lauren, the missing person's case turned into a murder investigation. And when it became clear that he was the last person to see Lauren alive and that his fingerprints were later discovered on a condom wrapper in the apartment after he foolishly gave it a thorough cleaning to assist subletter Evelyn Plummer, Roy, Lauren's former boss, swiftly rose to the top of D.S. Lisa Swain's suspect list. Since then, Roy has been charged with Lauren's murder. After an altercation with one of the numerous online sleuths who had been pursuing him over Lauren's potential death, Roy was subsequently denied bail. And while though Bobby had his doubts about Roy at first, he later sought to support Roy after witnessing his aunt's worry for her friend and told the police that he saw a man leave Lauren's apartment, even if it wasn't Roy. Since then, Carla has learned of her nephew's deception and has accepted it in an effort to support Roy and keep Bobby safe. However, viewers saw that it all ended in tears on Monday night's, April 29th, episode of Corey. Roy told Carla, I feel very uncomfortable and I'd rather you didn't visit me again, in fact as far as I'm concerned, this is the end of our friendship, after she finally agreed to see her. An irate Carla responded, Roy, no, you don't mean that. But Roy went on, I'm afraid I do, now, I'd like you to go. I really need to rest, and Carla started crying as he leaned back and closed his eyes. Additionally, Bobby's meddling caused the friendship to break, which infuriated viewers.